Now we're doing free code camp, JavaScript algorithms and data structures beta. Learn basic JavaScript by building a role playing game. Step 18. All right. So for our controls ID element, we're going to create three button elements. The first should have the ID set to button one and the text go to store. The second should have the ID set to button two and the text go to cave. And the third should be button three with the text fight dragon. All right. So for this one, we're going to create three button elements. Uh, let's go in between these two right here on line 17, press tab to get over to where we need to be. And let's open up a button like this and close it like that button. Boom. All right. And so inside of the opening button tag, we'll say ID equals double quotes. And then we'll say button like this because all three are going to have button. So we'll say in between these two elements, pardon me, in between the two tags, we'll say the text go to store like that. And then we'll highlight all of 17 to the end of 16, copy that and drop it off one, two times. So in this first one, for the ID, we'll change it to button one, the second button two, the third to button three. We'll highlight all of go to store on the third one. We'll call it fight dragon, fight dragon. All right. The second one will change the store to cave. All right. And so now we've got these three different buttons right here. And when they're all uh, targeted, they're all they all have these IDs, button one, two, three. That way we can target the buttons by the IDs so that when we click go to store later, it can change the three different options once we're in the store, like buy health, buy weapon, and leave the store specifically because this is the second time I've gone through this. <laughs> All right. Uh, so there we go. Uh, let's see if it works. Check the code. Looks good. And submit. All right. Now we're on to step 19. And we'll see you next time.